Hi, I'm Sonny from Sonny'sPianoTV.com, and today I'd like to talk about how easy it is for everyone to play the piano. I've heard it said that the reason why guitars are very popular and seem to be more popular to play uh, than uh, a piano is you can learn three chords on a guitar and away you go. Well, you don't even have to learn a chord on the piano and away you can go. You can just press the pedal and just play the black notes. And just ramble around. And you start making music. It's like a new age sound. Like Tchaikovsky's uh, Pier Gint, the Sunrise. Pianos are very easy, very accessible, very user friendly. This idea that you have to even take official lessons. I mean, of course, it's a great idea if you want to you know, learn how to read and maybe play classical and you know, study the piano. But this idea of even studying the piano. You just go over it and sit down at the piano and start playing it. You know, it's like walking. Okay? Did you have to study walking to start walking? No. You just start walking. It's the same thing with playing the piano. You just sit down and start playing the piano. You can learn just a few chords. Learn the C chord. Okay, the whole piano revolves around the C chord, around C, the scale of C, and so C chord is C, E, G, right there. You just hang out with the C chord. Two hands, C chord. Roll them. Okay, then learn the F chord, F, A, C. Go back to the C chord. That's two chords. Learn a third chord, the G B D, the G major, and now you got you can do stuff like that. Then you have a chord pattern. Look at this. It's three chords. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Everyone can play the piano. It's fun. It's easy. It's relaxing. You, you want to feel good? Sit down at a piano for five minutes and just stay there and just start noodling around. You know, don't let the piano intimidate you. Sit down there. Let's play all the notes. Start doing that. Music's going to come flying out of you. We all have music within us. We have what I call the musician within. That if you just sit down, relax, breathe, that musician within will start making music in no time. So once again, three chords, C, F, G. Just play the C chord. And then just play any white note, it all fit. Play the F chord. And just play all the white notes. You learn those three chords, C, F, and G. You can play hundreds of songs. There's so many songs that revolve around that chord pattern. Piano is easy to play. There's many approaches to it. And there's many types of uh, piano music. You can do serious study, play classical music. You can learn a few chords. You start playing rock. You start playing uh, pop. Uh, this, this chord pattern, C, A minor, F, G. Yeah, there, there's hundreds of songs, rock, pop, songs that are uh, based on this. So many songs. Uh, you know, just um, I said, piano is so easy, so user friendly. Sit down, play that piano. And piano teachers, parents, you want to get your kids to play the piano? Ask them what they want to play. Instead of giving them the scales and, and, and making it boring and, and structured right away, let them have some fun. What do you want to play? At my music school, when the kids would come in, the first question, all the and the adults, first question we would ask them is, what do you want to play? 
not here, play this, what would you like to play? Very often, uh, kids, uh, teenagers would say they want to play uh, Stay Away to Heaven by Led Zeppelin. So they never touched the piano before, so what would we do? Show them, okay, well, here's middle C, C, D, E, F, G, A. Okay, let's start with A. Put your thumb on A, and once, how does uh, Stay Away to Heaven go? Something like this. teach them that. The first thing, anybody could do that, it's, it's all like five notes. Let them play that, get into it, and just have them play the uh, A minor chord with that. Modulate down a little bit. So teenagers would come in, they want to play something, show them that, they walk out playing that, now you got them interested. You're not boring them. Okay? You, gotta, you gotta get folks interested and enthused about playing the piano if you want them to go out and purchase a piano. So now once you have uh, a student's interest and they're enjoying themselves, then they're more inclined to want to study and learn the scales and learn the chords and learn the time signatures. Okay? Some people can just sit down and just never take a lesson and I think Earl Garner, a famous jazz pianist, he just sat down and just started playing okay, by listening to other uh, jazz musicians. But this is a way of getting started. Okay? So you can get started this way. Anybody can get started this way. And then if you want to get into more serious study, uh, studying the classics, uh, then you, you're going to want to take lessons and you know, learn uh, how to do all that. But uh, just to get yourself started and just to have fun, and sit down at that piano and go to town and have a great time and feel good. I encourage everybody to purchase a piano, get a piano. Start playing the piano. It's healthy, it's healing, it's therapeutic. It relaxes you, it's social, it's fun. And it makes you feel good. See you next time.